I think finding a style is one of those things every young artist starts to crave. On YouTube alone, there's probably thousands of formulas on how to find it. We want an identity. We all want to be defined somehow. I think that's how we get noticed. That's how we get understood and seen. And in some ways, an identity feels like a stepping stone to being loved. I've reached a point in my life where I've started to crave that identity anew. Even more so than in my teen years, honestly. My teen years might have been the most defined I've ever been, to myself at least. I was the outsider. I was shy and unnoticed most of the time. I existed to be inoffensive. The simple truth of where I belonged in the world was that I didn't. At the very least, I could be certain about that, despite the pain of rejection. Over the past few years, I've wandered through a lot of different art mediums, styles, and even art brand names. Every time I would tell myself, this is the one, I'll commit to this one this time. And I never really did. I couldn't keep myself to just one or two paths. I was an acrylic painter, I was a digital painter, an oil painter, a sculptor. Most recently I've been into oil, but even that didn't feel quite right. The painting you're seeing in front of you is oil, intended to be an ala prima, but I decided to let it dry over and add other layers on top of it. It's mainly just a value study for a course I'm taking. I committed to this course because I wanted to commit to something, finally, and I discovered I really liked how oils felt over acrylics. The course itself is pretty structured. It leads you through the different elements of art and how you can use them to create effective oil paintings. And you can choose any subject, but it teaches the application of these elements as if you're working from photographs or with a live subject in front of you. And I thought, okay, good. So this is the way I should be trying to do it. If I want to be successful, I need to be working from photographs or a live subject. And like with many things I do, I put my whole heart into it. I tried to commit. I want to be able to focus on one thing and finally make steady progress in it. But like with a lot of things I try to commit to, I get distracted by the butterfly out the window. I was asked to explore values for as many paintings as I really wanted, and so I did. I sketched out the values of paintings I liked, I created my own value plans for original paintings, and then I got fascinated by something a little to the left of it. I got fascinated with night vision as an effect. It's that neon green you see in trail cams or ghost hunting videos. I adored the way things faded into any light sources that might be present, like a flashlight. I love the way people's eyes glowed. Now all of a sudden I started studying that, grabbing clips of night vision from YouTube videos to recreate digitally. All the while I continued to study anatomy, despite my art's focus at the time being landscapes and buildings. I spent months going down a rabbit hole and I kicked myself for it. I felt like I was impeding my own progress despite never wasting a single moment of art making. I was always doing something, following some curiosity and actively improving my work, but none of that seemed to matter because I had strayed from my self-assigned path. How was I supposed to make it if I kept getting distracted like this? But really, this had nothing to do with how successful I could be. I was really trying to fulfill an emotional need for a creative identity. I wanted to be recognized for something as compensation for my hard work, to take a fast track to feeling like my work was valuable, and I didn't realize this was at the expense of my creative freedom. I really think a desire to find a style sabotages the ability to actually find a style. My inability to deal with the uncertainty of not having a style crept into every aspect of my work. I felt anxious and reluctant to try any of the ideas that broke the mold. I was trying to approach new projects, and it made me feel like my mind was twisting and turning, trying to find the right angle to work from where I could plan out every step in advance and create the perfect piece. It filled me with fear that promoted a lot of procrastination. You end up spending so much of your energy trying to shoehorn yourself into a box that you forget to actually find out what makes you, you, and you can't do that with a carefully structured plan. The issue was never that I didn't have a style, though I do admit that would have helped me make art faster, but it would have limited me in the end, and that would have been a disaster if I didn't like where I was. Because we tend to try to prove our identities correct once we have them. If I identified as a portrait painter, then I would most likely seek to affirm that belief about myself because it would comfort me in its familiarity. If I identified as an outsider, I would do the same. The comfort and familiarity overrides any dissatisfaction you would feel from being an outsider or a portrait painter. And it almost did, in my case, because even though Portrait Painter wasn't a very firm identity yet, I craved its solidity. The painting you're watching was a step in the right direction. It broke away from the methods I expected of myself just a little bit. This painting was based off a photo, like I was supposed to do. 
but I used my love of night vision to turn into something a little more true to me. The lighting in this image is completely made up. I just stole the composition and the subjects from an image I took during the fall. I figured out that I wasn't entirely happy doing representational art. The images I created had to have a little bit of something I had in my own mind or else it didn't feel like mine. All of my ideas are more or less preformed images in my mind and it felt disingenuous to try to find some other image to replace it. And the times I did, I felt like I hadn't actually expressed myself at all. I still don't really know who I am, but that's much more of a symptom of being in your 20s than any fault of mine, and I'm no more closer to finding my style, but I, at least I'm more filled by the things I'm creating. There's a certain amount of faith you have to have in yourself. You have to believe that you'll find it at some point and keep casting off old selves. Honestly, maybe that's what you do for the rest of your life. Maybe there is no destination. Our true selves might not be some permanent state of being that lies underneath it all from the moment we're born. Our selves are probably just the experience of being in this specific intersection of being in this body at this moment in this exact location with the with all of your previous experiences combined. A self is created the moment another dies. And the way to art in life might just be embracing the uncertainty that comes with that condition. <laughs>